Hello everyone, in this video we will install our Eclipse IDE, which later on will be used to code on it as an integrated development environment. And if you're watching this video by now, you should have not only watched, but also installed Java on your machine. And what we'll do to install our Eclipse, we will uh, first download it, so you can search for Eclipse IDE download. And the first link that should pop up is from eclipse.org and the Eclipse Foundation. And this is the link, as you can see, this is the latest IDE, so you can just click download on it and it will show a mirror close to you, so you can just download that version. And of course, if you, if you feel like it, you can always donate to the Eclipse community for uh, maintaining an open, open source version of Eclipse. And once the download finishes, we could start installing it and it will not be long until uh, we see the a small window popping up from Eclipse. Now this is the first window you will see while installing Eclipse. As you can see the Eclipse can be used for many different stuff but what we are interested in we will use Eclipse IDE for Java developers and here you will be just ask to confirm or to change any of these settings which are what JVM are we using. I don't think you'll have anything to do on that. Installation folder, again, I just uh, usually it's, it installs in the user folder. And then also uh, I like to have shortcuts so I can create a shortcut in the start menu as well as in the desktop uh, so that I can quickly open it. And once we are done with those settings, we can click install and it will start installing Eclipse for us. It might take a while to install, so please be patient. And once you see a screen like this, you'll see that it, uh, your Eclipse is installed successfully and then you can launch it. If you don't want to launch it, you can just close this window and you can launch it from where you installed it. So we will launch Eclipse for us. And on the first time, it should uh, just take shortly and you should see a window like this. So this is Eclipse IDE Launcher and it uh, will select a directory as a workspace. So what a workspace is, it means just uh, that whatever you are going to work on will be stored there as a project. So it keeps everything in place. and uh, all the projects can be loaded from there as well. So here, if you want to change this, you can use Browse to change it. For me, I, I have multiple workspaces, so I will ask, I will just add an extension to it. All right, you don't have to do anything. And usually, once I do this once, then I will use this checkbox here to say that use this as default and don't ask me again every time I launch. And that after I do that, I just click launch. And let's wait for it to launch. So this is our first view from Eclipse. As you can see here, you have some shortcuts, you have some overviews, tutorials, and this is just a welcome page that will show when you open it. You can immediately start working on a project. You can create uh, something from, you can open something from existing files and so on. So what we will do, we'll just close this welcome page and we should see this main view of Eclipse. Now we will go into Eclipse later on, whatever all these windows and, and buttons and everything mean. But for now, if you are seeing this window, if you didn't get any problems while installing it, and if it already picked up your JDK, then you should be fine with the installation. In case you get any unexpected things out of these uh, videos like uh, or things you didn't see here, different messages, please reach out and we'll try to help you with them. In the meantime, happy coding and see you, uh, see you soon.